Still on India, Charlie Echo, lining up 2-0. Be taking off, uh, routing straight ahead, 1,000 feet right hand turn out towards Big Bay Blowbeck. Okay, today I have Amy on board. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> there are birds. You see the birds there? They'll stay above us. Okay, first thing centre line, RPM is alive. Centre stick. Speed is good. Just going to take off now. And let's just keep it low for those birds. There's one above me. They just cruise. There it goes. Right, let's climb away. Get above the trees. Running slow India, Charlie Echo, taking off runway 20. It's a right hand turn out towards Big Bay Blowberg, and I'll shortly be changing frequency 1258. Traffic in the Big Bay Blowberg area, India, Charlie Echo, Vans RBA, taking off from Morning Star, crossing the railway line, reaching towards Big Bay at 1500 feet. Okay, your pump is off, fuel pressure is good, brakes, undercarriage, throttle, pitch mixture is lean. Happy with that. So we'll go out to the Delta 200, which is out north. So there's Big Bay Blowberg. Okay, 1,000 foot, climb. Traffic the Big Bay Blowberg area, India, Charlie Echo, Vans, RV8, uh, 1,000 feet, climbing to 1,500, entering the Delta 200, routing north, changing frequency, 1244. Uh, have you got the camera on? Yeah. Okay, put it on you. Why? Just put it on you. Why? No, just so you get the view behind. Okay. I knew it. <laughs> got another airfield to my right ahead. So I'm going to put the fuel pump on. And we're going to go to the other tank. Oh, all good. Fuel pressure is good. Fuel pump is now off. Just judging. That's cool. How did you get those clouds? All the way up and over. Look, from that side all the way over us there. You can get the picture. Cool. 2,000 feet at the limit. Can you see we're at the boundary. This line is here. And we can now fly further than that. Yes, Charlie Echo, 2,000 feet of beam, Kuberg Power Station, routing north to the Atlantis Jets. Yeah, it's actually quite high, so I'm going to have to go down, but that's fine because we need to build up the speed to 160. Aiming at Table Mountain over there, I'm at 3,000 feet, I've got 160 and we're going to pull up nice and gently. Let's see if I can keep it straight. Okay, so it's a very gentle pull up. A few more Gs, 2.7. Looking over the top, she's slowing down to 60, I feel straight. Look straight. And I'm pulling back out, back up to 3G, and we've pulled out at 3,100. Okay, should we do that again? Yeah, where's the bump? Where's the bump? Uh, <laughs> it means that it's flight accurately. No, it's um, with this breeze, it probably blows away my wake. So, um, probably a good chance you don't feel it today. Okay, we're going to twist out halfway. I'm back up to 3.3. My speed's a bit low, but it's going to build as we go down. So there's my marker in front of me. We're actually going to turn out on Table Mountain. So coming down the hill, I've got 3,000 coming up. I've got 160. There it is. Okay, so we're going up on 2.9. There's the G. Three. Three's good. Happy with that. Fuel pump is looking good. Am I level? Left and right. Right, as we come over, let's twist back towards Table Mountain, which is over there. Keep it coming down. I've got 3,000. Now I go 160 and back up. Keep it level. It's looking level on both sides. Coming up over the top. Speed is good. And the issue comes all the way around. And we're pulling it out. There's a bump. <laughs> How'd you feel it? Yeah. Yeah. Is that enough for today? Yeah, that's good. Uh, I really do think... Um, this place is remarkable, so it's obviously in a nature reserve and you've got just this little lone old house that sits here. Okay, we've got Amy doing the flying, and the aim is to maintain about 1,200 RPM, I mean 1,200 feet, and about 2,200 RPM will be fine, airspeed is there. Okay, up the coast, let's not go over any houses. There's another camping site down there. Right, 
front. I was Amy's flying, I can't really see behind me. Water for traffic goes down in Roscoe, 1,900 feet of bush. See what the bush points shortly, the sending port control final bush. We got the coastline, there's some interesting clouds, there's obviously quite strong winds up there. Um, so we've got about 130 knots uh, on the indicated with about 154 ground speed indicated. So we're going fast this way, we're going to be going slower home. Quite a tailwind. It's a typical Cape Town southwest though that's blowing right now. It has been for a few days. But one good thing is it's for a bit of rain. Can you see the stables? Drop the wing, take a right turn. Drop, drop the wing more. Look at that over there. How cool is that? Yeah. They've got the treadmill, they've got a water thing for them to go in, everything. Obviously good for their muscles. Okay, temperatures are good. Fuel pump I'm going to switch on. Fuel pressure is good. I'm happy with everything over there. I think it's called 16 Mile Beach, do you remember? Do you know the name? No. Climb up to one five because as we go over the land, we're going to get bumps. The higher you are, the better. Cool, cool. Just wish I could see the instruments. No, you can see them. I'm, I'm out your way. Ah, nice, gentle climb. Generally, the way I climb is if I just go, if I was at 140 uh, knots, I go to 130 and uh, with the same throttle setting, and you find you'll start climbing. Amy's doing the flying and at the moment we are getting pushed across. Many would think it's her flying, but actually we're in balance. Everything's looking good. The right speed, right altitude, everything. This is purely the wind coming from our right. So it's giving us that angle as we go across. Morning, Scott. It's Charlie Echo approaching the airfield. I'll descend to the west joint for left hand downwind. Look at that. Field. Yeah, that's a field. Yeah, I've written that. Morning, Star and Echo. Over the airfield, descending to join for a left hand downward, 2 0. <laughs> Take all the people. My oh, goodness. Okay, I am set up. Let's put a little bit of flap. Speed is not bad. I've got brakes. And a carriage, throttle, pitch, mixture. Mixture is fully rich. That's good. We're on a left base. Morning, start the Italico left base. Two zero, full stop. Morning, start the Italico final. Two zero, full stop. Right, car beat, under carriage, pitch, flaps are fully down, and windsock is telling me it's coming towards me. I'm happy with my speed for now, because we're a little bit low. The wind's gusting, so we don't want to go too slow, but 70 is what I'm going to start looking for. Once we're over the bumpy trees. Right, over the trees, we can start coming down now again. Happy with that, I've got 80. A bit gusty, alright, we can throttle back. Straighten up and let's hold it off nicely. Stay on the centre 
line. But you've got quite a strong wind in front of you, it helps you slow down. So 